Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today. Just a very quick video today showing you how to do this um, little bookmark that I've made. The reason for doing this was because I got this piece of card. It was a bit of backing card when I bought a brush the other day and it's a really nice tough card and it was the perfect size and shape for a bookmark. And I'm always misplacing bookmarks and I've quite often got more than one book on the go so it's nice to have some more. So I'm being a bit careful with this because it's still wet. Um, um, so you can see I've done some flowers on there. I just got a gardening book to get some basic shapes of flowers. You could get some magazines or some references from the internet. So it didn't really matter which flowers, it was just a jumble of flowers. And as you can see with the drawing I've gone on the edges as well and had one or two petals coming over the edges rather than just placing them all in the centre. So I did it first in pencil just to get the basic shapes. Then I went over it in pen. I used a Unipin fine liner and then uh, for the painting, for, for putting the colours on, I use these Amsterdam acrylics. So we've just got the three primary colours and white, which of course you can make plenty of colours from. You can see I've used these quite a lot, there's not much left in that one. Um, I've done one or two videos with these, they're quite nice because they're, they're quite light um, and easy to, to manoeuvre, they're not too heavy. And so I'll just pop those to one side. So you can see I've ended up with some messy little pal palettes here. So these are just tiny little palettes that I mixed my colours in because I didn't need a lot of paint with it being such a small item that I was painting. So the red's not, uh, it's quite a pinky red. Um, and I mixed that with some yellow to get this orangey colour and I've mixed the blue and um, yellow together to get the green and then I've made this violet which I've added some white to to make it a little bit lighter. So some of the colours cover better than others and the actual the colour of the card which is quite nice does just come through a little bit. The yellow isn't particularly good at getting good coverage but I don't think I mind that it looks quite nice um, with that colour of the card coming through quite a natural feel to it. So I've just mixed the white into the background a little bit to give it a a bit of texture and make it less flat and a bit more interesting so um, I hope you enjoy this little video if there's anything that you want to ask please do in the comments below if you're new to my channel thank you very much for uh, joining us and don't forget you can subscribe below and also there's a little bell there if you want notifications of when my next videos are out I don't just do videos on acrylic I do them on all sorts of things watercolors brush show etc lots quite a few drawing tutorials so if there's anything specific you would like me to teach you if you also want to put that in the comments I'll try and do it as soon as I can so enjoy the rest of the video I'll put some music to it and we'll go through the process of the drawing and the painting and mixing those lovely colors up um, and if you get a chance to make your own book mark this weekend I hope you enjoy doing that and enjoy your drawing and painting thanks for watching and bye for now Me and 
blind that glitter to the rays Who oh, no need to beg pardon No need to beg pardon Pardon. Oh, no need to beg pardon. Oh, man.